Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Mila. Happy New Year to everyone out there. I hope that since the last time I saw you that you guys have all had an amazing few weeks and had an amazing Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, it's been about three weeks since I last checked in here in the community. Um, and so I believe I'm on week 47, 48, 49. I'm not even sure at this point. Um, I'll leave a description in the box below. Um, but I'm here to do a check-in. As some of you may know, some of you may not know, um, for the last few weeks I have been dealing with some lap band related issues and some not lap band related issues. Um, so I'll just kind of get into um, where I've been and what I've been doing um, and what I haven't been doing and all of that other stuff. Um, Sorry for my appearance. I just got home from the gym and I'm actually doing some cleaning because I am doing winter cleaning since I'm on vacation right now. So the last time that I saw you guys, I was, um, well, let me just go back to my numbers for those of you that are new with me. If you are new with me, um, thank you so much for joining along in my journey. Um, I started my journey back October 14th, 2011 at my highest recorded weight of 292. And I joined the gym um, at 284 and I lost 55 pounds before I decided to have the lap band surgery done on February 3rd, 2012. Um, the last time that I checked in with you guys, I was 177 pounds. And for about the last nine weeks, I have been in a five pound uh, maintenance range. My goal weight is 154 pounds. Um, recently, I had um, gained weight. And so the highest that I saw was 184, which is pretty ironic because my last video was saying that I was sick and tired of being in the 18 or the 170s and that I was done with them and I was ready to be in the 160s. And I was done with the 170s. I ended up in the 180s. So I solidly gained a good eight pounds. Um, there's just a bunch of things that have been going on, a whole lot of stuff, and um, I have not been coping well with them. So um, my current weight as of right now is 179 pounds. Um, I have not weighed myself in a couple of days, and so I don't know. I don't know where it is that I'm at. Um, it's definitely not where I want to be one month away from my surge anniversary. I had hoped that I would be as close as to goal as possible, but that's not the case. So that's where I'm at. I have maintained in a five pound, 10 pound range for over two months now. Um, so let me just back up for those of you that do know. A few weeks ago, I went to my doctor and I told my doctor that I just, I felt like I wasn't keeping restriction and that there was days that I was able to eat a whole lot of food. And um, so my doctor checked my saline level in my band. Sorry guys, my phone is going off like crazy. Um, my doctor checked the saline level in my band and um, I was supposed to be at a 5.3 and I was at a 5 cc level. And he told me not to be alarmed that um, you know, when you're that close to the points that it's really hard to as aspirate all of the liquid and that that didn't necessarily mean that I had anything wrong. So um, he told me, he gave me a 0.5 fill and he told me he would see me in two weeks. Um, at the same time, because I suffer from anxiety, I take medication for that, um, anxiety and panic attacks. So I had had um, a full physical, I had blood work done and everything. And um, I really don't want to get too much in depth with this because I'm struggling with it really hard. But um, my blood tests didn't come back all that great. And um, I, a few years ago, I had cancer. And so um, there's some issues there. So on top of having a possible leak in my band, I'm also dealing with the possibility of, of my cancer coming back. So two separate issues, but they happened on the same day. So as you can imagine how I feel, um, I don't know what, I don't even know how to cope with any of it, to be honest with you. So I got a 0.5 fill and that should have put me at 
um, 5.8 cc's and for about a week I didn't feel a whole lot different and then seven days later as usual my fill kicked in and I felt really good restriction I was starting to lose weight and everything was great um, and so I ended up in the hospital though with a bunch of testing and so I know some of you guys heard that I was in the hospital and that's kind of what it was I wasn't admitted into the hospital I just I was going through all of the testing and stuff and so um, anyway I'm sorry guys I'm just I'm really trying to bring this all together so anyway so I had to go through all this testing because of the cancer stuff and I'm gonna set that one aside because I just I don't want to keep talking about that one but this is my lap band journey. With my lap band, I went in yesterday to go um, for a two week follow up for this possible leak. And I talked to my doctor and I told him that the couple of days that I had restriction, it kind of just went away. So my doctor said that he was gonna check my saline level again. And when he checked my saline level, instead of having a 5.8 cc fill, I had 4.5 cc's. So there's a possibility of a leak. Um, what does that mean? That means that I have to go in for revision surgery. My doctor told me that he did not want to jump the gun, that at times when they aspirate the saline that it doesn't always come out, kind of like the first time, but obviously instead of having 5.8 cc's to only have 4.5, that's a big discrepancy. So he told me that I would come back to come back in two weeks and he was going to check my um, fluid level again. He gave me a 0.5 cc fill. So that should put me at 6.3 cc's. Um, and we would determine in two weeks exactly what was going to happen or what's going to happen. I've been struggling with this really hard just because I've gained weight. Um, as you can imagine, everything that's going on has just been really hard to cope with. It's been really, really hard to cope with. Um, There's some other things going on in my personal life that are also weighing very heavily on my heart. And I just didn't know, and I don't know how to wrap my head around all of this. And I know that it's not right to shelter myself away from, from the community that has given me so much support. But I am I am struggling really hard to get a grip on this, um, especially with with everything with the cancer and everything like that. Um, I know that I that the lap band you know it's it's fixable. It's you know um, just a revision surgery to my port because he said if there is a leak, it's most likely in my port. Um, and I'm glad that he wants to you know, expend all of his resources before he takes me into surgery. But it's very, very difficult to deal with, especially with the fact that it's a new year. It's a new insurance year. And so that means that I would have to pay money to have surgery, money that as a single mother I don't have. So there's a lot. There's a lot that's going on in my head and in my heart. As many of you know, I am a firm believer in Jesus Christ. And I know that you know, I can do all things through him, but it doesn't make this any easier. When I went in yesterday, I did not expect to hear. I just thought maybe the doctor was extra concerned. I didn't expect to hear that I, I have a leak. I'm hoping and I'm praying that in two weeks when I go that, that it's, you know, it's there. Um, I haven't researched different, you know, reasons as to why it would be low or anything like that. I just, I'm struggling so hard to wrap my head around everything. And I just kept hoping for better news, better, just a better update. You know, and I know that I would share the good, the bad, and the ugly, but it, it's been very, very difficult. Very difficult. I do want to thank you guys that have reached out to me. There's been several of you, and you know who you are, that have reached out to me consistently, who have prayed for me, who have sent me private messages. It really has meant a lot to me. And it's because of that love and support that I'm here giving an update, especially when I don't want to. I wish I had better news. I really do. I never imagined to be 11 months into my you know, journey as far as my surgery and to have this happen. I have been through so much because of the lap band. 
sorry guys. I have been through so much because of the lot band that there's days that this just hasn't been worth it. There really, there really isn't. I'm going to cut the video short. Um, I will try to come back at another time with a better update, a more, in, you know, in-depth update. Um, I've got a lot of good things that have happened since I've last made an update. I had a high school reunion. I've had several, you know, several positive things happen. But I just got the news yesterday about the lap band, and so I'm just, I'm struggling really hard with it right now. So I'm going to cut the video short. Once again, thank you so much for all of you that have sent me love and support and prayers to my girls. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm just going to take it one day at a time. That's all I can do. So until next time, guys, take care. God bless. And remember that I love you all. Bye, guys.